when you clicked on this video, I bet you thought there was a 50% chance that there was going to be a bot reading you off a top 10 list. But I'm not a bot. I'm your boy Hi5 Vega, and I'm here to tell you about the top 10 four channel amps you can buy in 2022. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. This top 10 list will be in no particular order, but I'm going to do it a little differently. The 10 through five spot will be four channel amps that are under $200, and the number five through number one spot will be amplifiers that are more than $200. And I'm going to have a mix of amps that would be considered sound quality and amps that are for more of a bass head crowd. So with all that being said, let's jump into my number 10 pick. So for the number 10 pick, I'm going with the Sony XMS 400D. It's what you call a micro amplifier. It's kind of similar to a Alpine power pack and you can kind of interchange these. They're small enough to go in the dash behind a head unit. It gives you 45 watts by four. This one costs you about $150 and it's perfect for the guy that just wants an upgrade over a stock head unit, but doesn't want it to be seen, doesn't want it to take up any more room and doesn't want to spend a ton of money. My number nine pick is the US Acoustics Lisa Amplifier. It's more of a traditional class AB four channel amplifier. It is rated 50 watts by four at four ohm stereo, 85 watts by four at two ohm stereo, and 170 by two at four ohm mono. So this amp, like I said, it is a traditional amp. It's got a handsome design. I think it looks really well. I've heard many of these amps. I've seen them in a lot of SQ builds. At even World Finals, I've seen a couple of these in SQ builds. Fantastic little amps. I know that they sound good. I've heard them with my own ears. And at $150, I think if you're looking for sound quality on a budget, you need decent power. This is right in that pocket. Oh, by the way, if you need an amp kit or anything to hook all these four channel amps up, I got you covered. HiFiVega.com. Got amp kits, got big three kits, got merch. Check it out. HiFiVega.com. For my number eight pick, I'm going with a much larger amp. This is going to be more of a bass head pick if you need a lot of power for your mids and highs. And it is the SCAR Audio RP150.4AB. It is 125 watt by four at four ohm, 250 watts by four at two ohm stereo, and 500 watts by two at four ohm mono. So this thing is an absolute brute if you need a ton of of power for your front stage. This amp is probably gonna get the nod. It comes in at around $187. Of course, I will have affiliate links in the description below for every amp I've talked about on this list. This amp is over 20 inches. It's about 24 inches long. It is thin. It's about eight to nine inches wide. So you can fit it, but you need a space with quite a bit of length because it is around 24 inches. So two foot of four channel amp. I think SCAR has a proven track record of providing a lot of performance for the money. So you can expect this amp to do rated plus a little bit more. If you need a lot of power for not so much money, I think that this might be the amp for you. For my number seven pick, I'm going with the NVX MBA 401 four channel amplifier. It is rated 135 watts by four at four ohm stereo and 200 watts by four at two ohm stereo, 400 watts by two at four ohm mono. I have tested this amp. I think it's a pretty good sounding amp. It too is a very large amp, over 20 inches long. And this one in particular is wider than the SCAR. I've spent a lot of time with it. I've tested it. It met its rated power. I think if you want a big class AB impressive four channel monster amp, this one edges out the SCAR for me because it beats it by $20 on the price. And I do like the NVX products. I think they've proven themselves over the years to give a very solid value, a quality product at a good solid price. For my number six pick, I'm going with the Down For Sound JP8 amp. It is an absolutely beautiful amp. That blue just is killer. That design 
is a throwback to the old US amps. I absolutely love it. And these amps are proven performers. It's rated 90 watts by four at four ohm stereo, 120 watts by four at two ohm stereo. And these did well over 160 watts at two ohm stereo. To me, this is really a crossover amp. This is not only an amp that a bass head will love, with the power it puts out, but it's an amp that an average guy that maybe leans more SQ would even consider. And this amp is a great way to finish off the under $200 amps. So let's switch over to the amps that are gonna cost more than $200. We'll start with my number five pick. Now that we're into the top five of the list, I figured why not switch my shirt? You know, if you want a cool shirt like this, you can go to highfivevega.com, check out the merch tab. Crimpin' A and easy, everybody knows it. With that being said, my number five pick is the Audio Control ACM 300.4. Now, this is the most expensive amp on the list. It is $349. That's kind of why it's at top five pick and not maybe the top one pick, even though these are in no particular order. It's a very simple amp, 50 watts by four at four ohm stereo, 75 watts by four at two ohm stereo, and 150 watts by two at four ohm mono. To be compact as it is, it's very powerful. It does overrated. I've tested the ACM 300.2. They pack a lot of features in such a small, tiny little amp. I do kind of like the plugs now. At first, I wasn't a fan of the speaker in and out plugs but i think it's kind of cool it is a throwback but you know i'm kind of an old school guy it has a soft spot in my heart and at 350 dollars, this might be the most expensive amp on this list but i think it's definitely worth your time this amp sounds wonderful and once you get it in your system you're gonna want more of these little amps because they're so dang cute the number four pick is the Kenwood XR 400-4. Now there is the new model, which is the 401-4, but the model I'm talking about is just the old rev and you can pick it up for $299 right now. Of course, affiliate links below for every amp that I'm talking about today. But this amp in particular, a lot of people look over the Kenwood XR line and that's a mistake. These are fantastic sounding amps, fantastic performing amps. They always make rated plus a little bit. So next time you're looking at a Kenwood XR amp, know that this is actually a high quality, great sounding amp. This one in particular is a class D design rated 75 watts by four at four ohm stereo, 100 watts by four at two ohm stereo and 200 watts by two at four ohm mono. $300 is not a lot of money for a reference quality four channel amp. So if you are in the market for something really nice, really solid, definitely give this Kenwood XR 400-4 a look. For my number three pick, I'm back to help you base head guys out. If you need an obscene amount of power for $320, check out the Stetson HL 2000.4. Now this thing has some crazy numbers, so I'm just gonna read them straight off the website here so I can get them correct. Yeah, let's just, let's talk about how much power this thing actually puts out. It says here that we are rated RMS in the four ohms at 12.6 volts. We have 290 watts by four. That's at 12.6 volts. At two ohms, it is 500 watts RMS by four. That's at 12.6 volts. So let's see what 13.8 says. And at 13.8 volts, it says 364 watts by four at four ohm stereo and 580 watts by four at two ohm stereo. Now, if you bridge this thing, you're gonna get a thousand watts by two at 12.6 volts. However, if you provide it 13.8 volts, you're gonna get 1160 watts by two. So this thing is an absolute monster. You really have to have some strong pro style mids to handle that kind of power. And I don't even wanna think about the tweeters that you're gonna to need to have to handle that kind of power. So if you're a base head, you want absolutely the most power you can get in a small, 
kind of portable package this amp is not very big at all matter of fact it's about half the size of the uh, nvx mba 401 and the scar rp so it's a dense little full bridge dynamo i guess you would call it but if you need a lot of power under 320 bucks definitely check out the stetson hl 2000.4 my number two pick is the Diamore E400.4 4 channel amplifier. It is rated 60 watts by 4 at 4 ohm stereo, 100 watts by 4 at 2 ohm stereo, and 200 watts by 2 at 4 ohm mono. Now, this amp was everywhere at SQ World Finals. I've seen at least three or four of these really, really nice sounding amps. I think they have gathered a reputation for being a really clean sounding amp for budget you know three hundred dollars two ninety nine ninety nine to be specific these are great amps if you haven't heard of these amps before hadn't checked them out definitely click on the link below and give them a look more importantly give them a listen i think it is a very solid number two pick and uh it'll probably surprise you for my number one pick we're gonna go with probably my favorite four channel amplifier that's out today and that is the kicker key 200.4 this is more than just the amplifier it's a dsp it's a little steve irby in your vehicle tuning your car for you so let's talk about the specs it is 50 watts by four at four ohm stereo it has a built-in dsp it has an auto tuning feature it's a micro amp it's really really small it's just a little bit bigger than the sony in the number 10 spot and uh it is a tiny little powerhouse don't let the 50 watts by four fool you this thing will really really push a component set especially if you're running in the active mode now the dsp setup on this is super super simple i've done a video on it dean's done a video on it i'll put both those in the description below so you can check those out right now this is out of stock everywhere and i think the lowest price on it is 269 dollars obviously i'll leave a affiliate link in the description below so you can buy it but if you have been on the fence about this amp what i will say is get this amp don't even think about it just buy it you don't have to waffle i guarantee you that you will like this amp if this is something you're looking for if you already have a dsp and all that this might not be the amp for you because you're not going to be using all the features but if you just want a simple amp to throw in a car no fuss no muss this is my number one pick and it's probably my favorite four channel amp that is out right now so don't have any hesitation if you've been thinking about this amp. that's it that is my top 10 four channel amps let me know what four channel amp that i miss what should have been on this list i try to get as broad of a range as i can i try to talk about amps and equipment that i have either heard used tested myself so let me know what i'm missing on this list i'm curious to see what your picks are especially amps that are under the 200 dollars mark because that's what a lot of people are looking for with that being said i hope you do enjoy this kind of content you know do me a favor hit that subscribe hit the bell so with all that being said i do appreciate each and every one of you and i hope to catch you all just like pokemon in the very next video. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters, but I want to give a special shout out to the six star and warm members 2001 Monolithic, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego Audio, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Boxboy Audio Sound Solutions, Jesus Tires, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Scott Dilbeck, D. Stewart, Aaron Waltz, David Koslick, Scott McCord, Matthew Tolberg, Debo Bass, Corey D., Trucker9000, Bobby Burkett, Kevin Lautner, The Car Audio Guy, James Childers, and Baba. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get exclusive behind-the-scenes Patreon-only content, and you get access to the Patreon-only monthly podcast. So if any of this interests you, please check me out at patreon.com slash high five.